Super Auto Pets has been eating all of my time, and in this video, I'm gonna tell you exactly why. First off, look at these animals. They're literally just Google emojis. No lie, you can find them on Emojipedia. Y yeah, there's an emoji encyclopedia. Why are you surprised? You've seen weirder things on the internet, don't be surprised. Oh my god, can you imagine if they use the Samsung emoji? Okay, so each animal has different traits that effectively build your team. So in this lineup, this guy's got a team of crickets that summon 1-1 one -one units whenever they die, and a horse that buffs new units as they enter the battlefield. Okay, watch and laugh as I get destroyed. Sorry to tell you, you just got blown out. There's actually quite a bit of versatility in your runs. You can focus on spawning as many units as possible, you can put all your eggs on one basket and make one super unit that'll probably get killed by a 1-1 one -one scorpion, you can focus on buying and selling as many units as possible getting buffs all along the way, and that's not even all of it. Look at this run. Absolute perfection. Now, now, I, I know what you're thinking. Super Auto Pets looks like it was made in an afternoon. Yes. But I raise you this. Look at this round. My ant dies to a camel, so it sends a buff to my giraffe. Their camel buffs the unit behind it when it gets hurt, the kangaroo. And the kangaroo also gets a buff when the unit ahead of it attacks, so it's getting really big. My fish cleans up their kangaroo and their ant, which buffs their badger. This one kills my sheep, which spawns two rams that will kill the swan and hurt the badger. The badger trades with the giraffe and it looks like I've won. But the badger's effect is to deal damage to both teams once it dies, so it ends up killing my rabbit. So is that a draw? <laughs> no. They gave their badger honey, which spawns a bee on death, so they win the round. Auto battle leaders have no reason to be this engaging. Doug, I really spent all my money on a supercomputer that could play any game on the highest settings, and this is what I end up spending my time on. But yeah, this isn't even everything. You could combine multiples of the same units to upgrade them, making their abilities more powerful. Except the scorpion. It just kills things. Scorpions are just guns with tails. I think it's a mixture of the low production value of just a handful of JPEGs moving back and forth like it's being animated in MS Paint, and the fact that the game has some pretty solid depth that keeps me playing. But oh, oh wait, that's not true. The real thing that keeps me playing is the amazing naming system where you get to choose two predetermined words to represent your team. That's how you get team names like the Lazy Balls, the Creamy Bits, the Nasty Fangirls, the Delicious Feet, and my personal favorite, the Bumbling Presidents. So, give it a shot, it's free to play on PC and Android with an iOS port waiting for approval at the time of this recording. Dude, what is this team? What was your plan? <laughs> is this a cry for help?